Hey guys, welcome to another episode of The Vinyl Den, your channel for record collecting by record collectors. My name is Nick. I'm Ian. Today we're going to talk about uh, the Beatles against the Rolling Stones and which one was more uh, more influential in music. There's a bunch of links down below. Make sure you go check them out. There's links for the Vinyl Den Facebook group. Uh, there's also links for the merch page where you get one of these cool Vinyl Den t-shirts. There's links for the Spotify and Apple Music weekly playlist that we put together and also for the uh, Patreon page. So make sure you go check all that out. Of course, if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give us the old thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we release new episodes. So I think there's very little doubt that uh, the Rolling Stones and the Beatles were probably two of the biggest influential bands of the 60s. Right. And I think for, for very different reasons and really kind of different periods, too. I was always a bigger Beatles fan Me too. growing up. And it's probably only within the last probably 10 years I've gotten a little bit more into the Rolling Stones. Been like two years for me. <laughs> but even with the Rolling Stones, I'm primarily more like a, a 69 through 76 kind of fan or 78 fan of the Rolling Stones. Over some of their earlier albums where it was with the Beatles, I've always been kind of a bigger fan of the early Beatles stuff rather than the later Beatles mm-hmm. stuff. See, I, I, Beatles, it's I don't care. I, I, I'll take it all. I mean, it's all good. The Beatles yeah. have never made a bad album. But I mean, in terms of my like my fan, how, yeah. what I'm a, more of a fan of, I'm equal. I don't really separate the two eras because there is essentially like two eras of Beatles. Yeah. But with the Stones, maybe because I'm still kind of new to them, I I was kind of I never really thought the Stones were that great. Um, I really it took me a long time to get uh, to the point where I listened to them. Yeah. Uh, the way they need to be listened to to kind of appreciate them, but the Beatles I've been with forever. Yeah. So. I think one of the like the big things at least that separate early Beatles from early Rolling Stones is that uh, for the first couple of Rolling Stones albums they're kind of like covers albums. Yeah. yeah. Whereas the the Beatles were you know kind of I think a, a little more groundbreaking in the stuff that they were doing, especially in that earlier period. And then you know once they get into the, you know, uh, you know, some of their like middle albums. I think when they really kind of change their sound, yeah. I think is like like you mentioned before we started recording is really kind of when they really became more influential. I think right because it just it showed where a band could go, not necessarily like all the way, but how a band doesn't have to be pigeonholed in into a certain sound. Yeah, and they were expanding their sound and changing it up and and doing new things. And that's kind of where I always had a problem with the Stones, but now I've come to appreciate that as a, as a, as a good thing for them. But they, their sound never really changed. No. I mean, it, it was well, always kind of... It did, but it was always just always kind of basic blues structure. Yeah. Which is fine. I love the blues. And as I said, I, I kind of appreciate that now, but I saw them as a band that, that's been around for almost 60 years now, and there's their new stuff is basically the same as their old stuff. Yeah. There's no... There Real were difference. there were some differing periods in with the eighties. The they Stones. definitely tried some slightly different things, um, yeah. but overall, I always kind of saw that as a as a uh, a deficit. But now I kind of appreciate yeah. that. But as far as influential, you know, being influential, I think the Beatles and their striving I, to change. Yeah, their their experimentation with their music, I think, is what makes the Beatles so influential. Even you know, fifty, sixty years later. Yeah. You know, maybe more today, though, than, than they were even more, you know, 10, 15, 20 years ago. Right. I think one of the things that are both really kind of influential about both of those bands, especially like in, in the early period, is that uh, it was that kind of progression away from just the single artist. Yeah. You know, it was like a, a bigger band structure. Which that, was uh, kind of starting across the board, but it was the Stones and the Beatles that, well, first of all, that were just, they blew up and they yeah. were huge. But, you know... I think even maybe the Beatles and the Stones were the ones who kind of really started that. Yeah. Because after that, you got like the Hollies and the you know. There's a bunch, a bunch of, of different bands, yeah. Um, and if it weren't, I, maybe theoretically, if it weren't for the Beatles and the Stones, that might not have happened. Yeah. And at least at that level or that time. Yeah. Because essentially, when the Beatles started, they were kind of like a boy band. You know, yeah, that's kinda, yeah, that's kind of how they were at least portrayed in the media. Yeah. Very bubblegum, so, especially almost with made, like the yeah. movies and all that kind of stuff, yeah. which the Rolling Stones never really got into doing. No, you know, but they did get a little more psychedelic as the '60s kind of went on okay, in, yeah. into the beginning part of the '70s. They they went back to more like a straightforward kind of rock. So there was some kind of progression to the Rolling Stones music, but mm-hmm. I think overall, as far, as far as like rock music is, is looked at. 
or as far as rock music goes, I think long lasting inf- influence. I think the the Rolling Stones have had a huge influence over rock music mm. it, overall, but I think the Beatles probably had more of an influence overall in music across genres. across the board. Yeah, I guess you could look at it like I, I hate to leave it to the music press to define this stuff, but the music press is always going to be writing articles about the Beatles yeah. forever. They're 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 going to write articles about the Stones, but nowhere near the same level. So, I mean, take that for what it's worth in terms of influence. But yeah. you know, I, I I think there's a little bit of of smoke there. Yeah. You know, I think another thing that really helps the the Beatles with influence is that the, they had a long string of just iconic album after iconic album, and you know, the Rolling Stones, even though they had some really good albums, they're in between. They're iconic albums. They're, they weren't or, yeah, quite they're, that, that same hits level. and misses. But you could attribute that to the fact of, you know, length of time. Yes, you know? the Beatles were because such a short period of time. Exactly. So it was kind of like that candle burning super bright and then burning out. Yeah. Whereas with the Stones, they've kind of just, you know, they've had their ebbs and flows over the years. Yeah. So, so I think as far as influence goes, I kind of have to give the edge to the Beatles, I think, yeah. just because, like I said, the Beatles influenced rock music, they influenced pop music, they influenced just a music across the board for 60 years. Well, they were the first pop idol, pop star band. I mean, yeah. they were, as you were saying earlier, they were kind of the first it wasn't, boy band. But it wasn't just about the music with the Beatles, it was about the whole entertainment side the, of it, with the, the movies image, and everything yeah. else. Yeah. You know, and I think, and that that's kind of where I was getting at, too, with, the, with that change, because they were... They were there, and then they pushed away from that. They were yeah. like, "Oh, we want to do our own thing," you know. Start moving, uh, mixing in Western, Eastern influences into the music. That was unheard of, yeah. you know. So that's that's kind of what I was getting at earlier. But yeah, I think the Beatles probably edge out the the Stones yeah. as far as influence. Um, but you know, it probably would depend too on on your personal preference. Some people don't like the Beatles, yeah, I know, but they love the Stones, so they might disagree. But that's that just comes down to perspective, yeah. I think. There's a, a guy I used to work with. He often called the Beatles the most overrated band in music history. So there's a lot of people out there. I obviously don't agree with that, right. but there's a lot of people out there that do have that that, that opinion, though. So mm-hmm. I definitely can see why some people would fall onto the Rolling Stones side of of that argument. Yeah. I don't know, that's all we got for you today, guys. Thanks for checking the show out. Make sure you drop us a comment down below. Let us know what side you fall on. Are you more of a, a Beatles fan or a Rolling Stones fan as far as like influence goes? And I guess not just it's not just about their music because both of them are been you know hugely influential bands. But uh, let us know what you guys think. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you give us the old thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. And that's all we got. Until next time, talk to y'all later. Keep on spinning. Peace. <laughs>